way cooler. So yeah, I, I can get behind this free sprite. Kind of fits perfectly. Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria 1.4 video. We are here in the texture pack section of the Terraria forum and we're gonna see what's up. And looking at some of the newer things that just came out or something that just immediately caught my eye, Mario P. So let's go ahead, let's look at this. A texture pack that replaces the desert fountain with, well, mario pink wow interesting <laughs> so yeah we're gonna check out some of these out uh we're in the release section and not the work in progress section because i believe the work in progress section does have a couple of things there too and uh, i'm gonna sort things by recent completed recently and we'll go from there some of them we'll check out in game some of them we'll just check out on here if they don't have a lot of stuff to check out but let's see so we're looking for dates that are uh recently i'd assume because we don't want to click on something like this i don't know why this is here when i sorted it by recent dates i think maybe you somebody just commented something dark wizard let's start with this one so he just made the wizard wear darker clothes okay interesting we got smaller solar shield honestly this this low key this this might be a thing right here i do like the solar armor but the solar shield that thing kind of is an eyesore so i can see that being pretty useful for some people we got the life fruit resprite can you see that can y'all see that these images are kind of small maybe i'll zoom in in uh, editing but uh this doesn't look too bad i don't think i ever had a problem with the original life fruit though we got a journey's end graphic overhaul part two don't know where part one is but i guess let's check out part two let's take a look here oh okay so the textures here a little bit more high definition this might be one of the ones we have to check out in game uh because this is kind of fire so i think i'm gonna download this one add it to the things we'll check out in game we'll probably check out the ones in game like halfway through this video because we're just gonna check out everything first choose which ones i'm gonna check out in game and then we'll go from there next up we got realistic psycho knife that's that's a big ass knife bro we have alternate zoologists it just makes her white i think we may have discovered a racist amongst us in the community simple boss bars i do like this it just it makes boss bars just way more simple makes them look cleaner but i also don't have a problem with the current boss bars we got old gen console weapons let's see chlorified claymore into the tazona okay okay is that even how you pronounce it i don't know we got the chlorified partisan partisan into the ton bogiri is that how you say it i don't know and then we got the hollowed repeater into the vulcan repeater and the molten fury into sharanga 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 i don't know this might be another thing you could download oh they're all separate too they're all separate and then you could just download the whole pack which is very nice this dude made a texture pack that replaces the female ooh sounds <laughs> uh spoiler video with sounds all right let's hear it I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Zoologism. Is that how you say that? Sure. A curse has turned a lot of the citizens of Terraria into fox girls. Why? I honestly don't know why I made this. I'm going to get publicly executed for this one, huh? It started out as, haha, what if I can make everything zoologist? But then I put too much time into it and it actually worked. All right, let's see. So we got the wizard. Boom. There's the wizard. Now a zoologist. Okay. We got the player. Okay. The player is a zoologist now. Cultist. <laughs> Cultist zoologist now. And the Stardust Guardian. That's pretty funny it says the current npcs that are changed consist of the god merchant arms dealer demolitionist clothier wizard pirate traveling merchant golfer and angler god damn all right if you really like the zoologist that much there you go we have an eye of cthulhu slash twin sprite or plus my bad and they definitely look cleaner a lot cooler honestly i feel like a couple of boss sprites should have been touched up in 1.4 because that's really what 1.4 is is a giant touching up and making everything look nice update rather than is an actual content update so uh boom is a texture pack for that so i'm trying to find some big stuff now what the fuck is this this doesn't count i'm trying to find some big stuff so we can hop into the game now a chinese mobile exclusive npc so this is the skeleton merchant i don't know why i put arms dealer i don't know why they would change the arms dealer it's kind of interesting if it is actually the arms dealer i'm pretty sure this is the skeleton merchant and uh he looks like a i don't know he just looks weird bro <laughs> yeah let me look through try and find some some big things here chinese sprites repurpose repurpose interesting oh see look they made him uh, the clothier and then now they made skeletron overgrown okay uh eye of the dragon okay some of these kind of look ugly no offense uh some of them uh, i don't know they, they kind of just look ugly I, I do really enjoy i do really enjoy the chinese mobile sprites so like combining them together kind of makes them look eh. all right we got an interesting one here that i will check out in game alternate sprite selection for town npcs we got the nurse turn into the nun we got the dryad just green we also got the dryad 
but she's an elf now with purple hair we got the painter of old i like this one uh we got the goblin the gr goblin the grease i don't like that name <laughs> But uh, he looks a lot cooler. And then we got the cyborg who also looks pretty cool. So we're, we're going to definitely check this one out. I found this one right here. Cooler Party Girl. District Sprite gives the party girl a complete makeover with two big additions. And trust me, it's worth downloading it. I wonder what the two big additions are. I don't know. I can't tell. Here's a little comparison to help us out a little bit. Okay, this is pretty fire. Moon Lord Stardust Guardian Texture Pack. Look at that. That's sweet as hell. Instead of having that wimpy Stardust Guardian, you get the damn moon lord to throw hands behind you this is a download we got a nice simple one here the rod of discord changing the rod of discord into the rod of discord aka you know discord it's even got a little notification symbol we got a better skeletron texture pack here i couldn't agree more all right we have a pre-hard mode bosses resprites what the fuck? All right, we have a pre-hard mode bosses, re-sprites, and improvements, except Queen B, I guess, fucker. And look at this. Not bad. Honestly, this one in the last re-sprite one looked very, very nice. It's got a nice, different feel to it. I do like the slime retexture, and I really think King Slime should have got a retexture in general, because King Slime is kind of whack looking. But this is not bad. We'll check this one out in game two. I'll grab a couple more before I go. We got a different re-sprite for the Empress of Light. Pretty cool. And then we'll hop in the game here. Okay, we got one that we might even do a whole video on the last obamium meme texture pack look at this we got exodia deadly last prism and of course obama's on it uh you can see everything has been changed we'll probably check that out in a future video but let's take what we currently have let's see it in game actually i'm gonna grab one more right here and it is this one which adds a shenron wyvern which is dope as hell and then it adds in revenge of turkor which is skeletron but turkor all right we are in game here we got the texture pack chilling right here so i believe they do actually work by just stacking a bunch together especially with how the uh, downloads are set up for most of these packs where it was just like a singular thing so let's let's start with this npc one all right we're gonna enable all the npc ones check those out uh and then i guess let's check out the moon lord stardust guardian that should be good and then let me hop into my journey mode character here we got the journey mode character here and uh let us go ahead and put on some uh, stardust armor start with that one boom stardust is on and look at that Oh, look at the Moon Lord. He beating some ass. This is this is pretty clean. I like this. Definitely a lot better than the uh, actual Stardust Guardian. Even though I do actually think the Stardust Guardian is pretty cool. But uh, I could definitely appreciate this. You know, the Moon Lord, his hands are rated E for everyone. Anyone can get these hands. Next up, let's see the NPC one. Oh, God. How do you... Okay, well, I got to go into like a different world for the NPC one. Because it's shitty creative mode. And that's a, doesn't let you spawn in things. Or doesn't let you spawn in mobs or npcs all right let's check out some of the npcs here i'm in my like original master mode world that i stream on release we got the painter here look at him stefano that's a perfect name for him we got the dryad who's an elf here uh, that's the one i chose was the elf one and not the just greener one i don't know why you would choose the green one boom down here with the goblin i really like this goblin sprite it's a lot cooler you know, this definitely seemed like someone who would break my stuff or break my items with reforging rather than break them and look nerdy. But, uh, you know, whatever. And then there's also the cyborg. I don't have the cyborg on this world. <laughs> so I think I got to go to another world. We have the nurse over here. What's up, nurse? Or uh, the nun. My bad. And last but not least, we got the cyborg here. Okay, he looks a little funny in person. He looked cooler in the pictures. But, you know, I think I'd have to go with the old cyborg over this one. He still looks cool, though. He kind of got the little Skeletron Prime mask going on. All right, since we checked those out let's go ahead let's disable those and uh, let's check out the bigger ones here we got this one i love that these barely say anything okay here we go pre-hard mode bosses at least i could tell what that is pre-hard mode bosses got it and then which one is this see they don't tell me anything this is looking a lot like the t mod loader mod browser where people just upload shit and then don't put anything next to that shit to tell you what it is but let's look at some uh, pre-hard mode bosses here all right let's go ahead let's check out these pre-hard mode boss textures here was there only four or five bosses it was the wall of flesh in that i don't remember let's start with the king slime though i'm hyped to see this one this one i for sure remember oh yes way cooler way more detailed animations okay maybe they're like a little flat thing underneath it doesn't really match up with the floor most of the time but who cares it's better than what relogic has currently and you love to see it i, I enjoy this spread a lot all right let's go ahead let's peep the uh i cthulhu here added some torches because some people were complaining in the last video i don't know it's very visible i checked it out on mobile checked it out on pc checked it out on switch okay i lied about the last one 
but the uh, Chinese sprites were more than visible. I don't know. People just like to complain. Let's see the Eye of Cthulhu, though. I don't even remember how much was updated. Ooh. Giving off a little Calamity feel. I feel like Calamity kind of set the tone for, like, higher detailed sprites. So anytime, you know, Terraria or Texture Pack Makers, whatever, try and make the quality of a sprite a higher definition, it gives a lot of Calamity vibes. All right, let us see the Eater now. Because I believe this is also one of the ones that got changed. Yes, I really like this one. This one looks dope. The Eater definitely needs a resprite don't know if we'll ever get it i guess that's what we have mods and texture packs for right but this one is dope let's go ahead let's let's cut it up a little bit it's gonna look the same whether we cut it up or not but this one this one's dope next up the brain this one i also believe was a very very nice resprite and let's see okay so far it looks fairly similar the eyeballs are different though for sure so let me go ahead let me try and kill them without actually killing the brain in one tap oh there we go boom Okay, it's definitely, it's a little different, but it's definitely hard to tell. But th there's a little bit more uh, quality to it. A little, little different colors and shades. So I believe the next two, what is Skeletron and the Wall of Flesh? All right, let us go ahead and see Skeletron here. Boom! It looks a little scarier. I don't know if the orange or red is scarier. Does he have red eyes? No, that's prime. So yeah, he is a little scarier than here. Uh, it definitely feels like he's a possessed skull rather than just a floating skull with with no soul in it at all. So yeah, I, I can get behind this free sprite. Oh shoot, we got Chippy's couch, bro. Hold up, you know what we gotta do. What you about to do, Chippy? I'm, I'm about to sit in your couch. Last but not least here, the wall of flesh. Oh my god. <laughs> He definitely looks scarier. Uh, he, he seems like a little bit more cracked out, like he drank a, a monster energy before he hopped in this fight. So I, th I think it's cooler. His eyeballs also look like they're trying to like bite us. You see that? They look like they got a little mouth that, or they're just like his pupils are like pulsating. Very interesting. I like it though. All right, so there was that. Now let's hop into our last couple here. We got Revenge of Turkor. I don't remember what this one is. And then we got the Shenron Wyvern one. Okay, let's do the uh, the Wyvern Shenron and let's do the Revenge of Turkor. All right, let's go ahead. Let's do the uh, Skeletron Prime version of uh, Turkor here. And I actually like that they went through the effort to actually like customize this a bit. We got Turkor's eye here shooting lasers. We got, I don't know, that's just food as a cannon. <laughs> We got the uh, the saw here. The saw looks fairly similar. And then we got Turkor's beak as the vice. And then obviously we got the, uh, it's kind of spinning, a little hard to tell. We got the turkey and there's a hole in the turkey to show like an eye or uh, just a red circle in general, which is a very, very neat detail. And I can appreciate them trying to bring back Turkor in a special way here and actually go through the effort of making the sprites look cool. I guess we'll go ahead and check out the uh, non-prime version, but that me means I have to generate another world. But first, let's check out the wyvern. All right, here we go. We got the Shenron wyvern. Okay, this one might be a little difficult to see. Let me see if I can bring them down to the surface where some lights are. Here we go. Oh my God, this is fire. I can always get behind a Shenron sprite because Shenron is just cool as hell. And uh, I, can, I can definitely see him as a wyvern. I can definitely see him as the wyvern. It kind of fits perfectly. So this, this sprite right here is, is pretty nice. Nando. Maybe I'll even use it in the future. All right, let's go ahead. Let's peep the Turkor just non prime version, whatever. Just, what is it? I don't know. Tur Turkon? Turkon, look at him. This one, this one's a little bit goofier, in my opinion. I think the prime one actually is pretty cool. This one, you're getting your shit beaten by turkey heads. Spinning turkey. Last but not least, SCT. I don't even want to say his name. Don't know what this what the sprites are changed which ones are changed or not i guess i'll figure it out main thing changed about this texture pack is just the twins and skeletron prime and non-prime we're just gonna check out the prime one and the twins so let's see him in action wow look at him he looks like he got botox or something i don't know <laughs> and let us see the twins i believe the eye also got a little change too you can kind of barely see it probably because it's kind of dark out but uh they got a little, little bit of higher quality textures here and there we saw the we saw the forum page we, we know what it looks like but yeah there has been all those texture packs and some of them are very very cool it's actually really dope that you can stack texture packs and stack textures so you can use a bunch of them to kind of create your own experience with terraria and uh, i definitely will probably be using a bunch of them in the future in my future videos you might see and there's a lot more to check out there's a lot of work in progress ones there's a bunch of release ones we still haven't checked out i'll probably do a part two eventually 
maybe checking out the work in progress ones and some more of the released ones but make sure to check out all of them shout out to all the people that created them all the uh, texture pack creators that made these sprites did all the work and stuff and it's very dope i really like the texture pack thing in 1.4 uh, very nice to have and i can't wait for the future i can't wait to see like complete overhauls with texture packs like the calamity one for uh 1.3 yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video follow my twitch because if you've been wondering where i've been and why i haven't been uploading twitch i've been streaming a good bit so come through there twitch.tv slash gamers 101 because sometimes i won't post a video on my youtube saying that i'm streaming i'm gonna just stream and you'll see the notification on my twitter you'll see it maybe in your email if you have that set up for twitch my discord i still post that stream like everywhere but sometimes i won't post a video and you won't know unless you know you're following me or following my twitter so come through if you want to see me play some terraria live i'll see y'all next time